The camp is looking really good. Very dry at the inside. It has rained the whole night, so you can see that the outer area is wet, but in here it's bone dry. Today I have brought some liver, as you can see, and I want to grill it over the fire. And also I want to keep building on the shelter. So this is basically what I want to do today. And now I have blood on my hands, great. <laughs> And my knife and saw. So. It's a little bit wet and cold, so first I want to make a fire. some good and dry firewood. Today I'm using the Apo One survival knife and I have designed this knife here with a tapered end so the handle scales come out a little bit, they get wider here and this way you can take the knife with only two fingers and then you have a little bit of a bigger leverage and then you can use the knife for chopping and this is working really good. Okay, last time I was here, I found this bark, which is full with pine resin. So this is what I'm using for the fire. Good old matches. I will let the fire burn down to the coals and then I'm going to make myself a liver but in the meantime I'm going to build my shelter and yeah the question is really how do I want to close the shelter here so I've been thinking about it and first I thought about building a wall but I'm not so sure anymore so hmm Maybe I should build a lean-to shelter from here to here. That would be really awesome. But I definitely have to secure this pole here because I don't want to, you know, get trapped in the shelter. This can fall down on your head and then you have a real problem.
has burning down and now I want to make my liver and I'm going to grill it over the coals and I have the stick here which is a green one and now I am shaving off the bark because sometimes you know you can find bacteria in the bark so this is why I want to get rid of it because I don't want to get sick and now I'm holding the stick over the fire to kill any germs that might be still on the wood smoke the smoke is killing me Today a little bit of rough patoning because I really want to test out this new steel. Broke off the baton. Oh, okay, let's take this one. I have a lot of bark in my jacket and it's itching. Oh. You know, the reason why I'm not using hand gloves is because I want to roughen my skin. And a lot of people are saying like, yeah, you never wear hand gloves and wear hand gloves, you should wear hand gloves and stuff like that. And yeah, it's true, I should wear them, but I don't want to because I really want to get a thick skin and I really want to keep it this way because in a real survival situation you might not have gloves on you as well so i rather have thick skin than this really sensitive office skin and every now and then it doesn't harm yourself if you get dirty dirt on your hands it will give your immune system a boost the liver is now done let's taste it Mm. Mm. A lot of people don't eat liver anymore, but actually liver has the most nutrients, so it has much more nutrients than meat for example. And the first thing the Stone Age people ate when they hunted down a deer was the liver. And very often they just ate it raw. And actually, this is so nutrition dense that you won't have to eat a lot of liver. So, if you eat like a handful of liver, you will be full. You can't eat anymore because it's so nutrition dense. This, by the way, is a chicken liver.
So that was a little bit of a Stone Age snack. Okay, now let's get to work. Oh my god, it's starting to rain. Ugh. If it's getting more, I have to go because I already lost one camera in the rain. Because this is not waterproof. <coughs> okay, that's it. I have to go. It's raining. Okay, folks, so I'm sorry that I couldn't build so much today. It was raining the entire day, then it stopped, then I came here, and now it's raining again. Yeah, well, it's okay. I still had a great couple of hours in the forest and a very good liver. The camera has to go in here now, and I really want to thank you for watching. And if you have not yet, Please make sure that you check out the link in the description below. It will lead you directly to my store and there you can check out the details of this knife here. So thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.